Okay, we're back again. Um, we're going to demonstrate to you the fold down ID attachment on the machine. So, um, again, this is a 12, a 10 by 24U, meaning the swing here uh, is 10 inches, approximately 10 inches, probably a little bit more, and the working distance between the centers. Um, and also depending on what you have mounted in the front here is going to reduce that distance but basically uh, it's an envelope of 10 by 24 inches that you can work in. Um, this machine is similar to a, to a Brown and Sharp number one um, but it's not a Brown and Sharp number one. The Brown and Sharp number one is, is not quite as heavy duty as this. Uh, this takes a larger diameter grinding wheel with a 5 inch bore in the inside rather than a 3 inch bore and a 12-inch wheel rather than a 10-inch wheel like you would find on a number one. They also made a 10 by 20 U, which is again uh, pretty much the same size but a, a little bit smaller. Um, but this is the 12, the 10 by 24. So uh, this is the ID spindle up here and it has a belt. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut it off and we're going to unlatch this little spring clip that's up here that holds it up out of the way and it comes down and you have a hole back there that you can screw this into and there are little adjustments that can be made back here to, to get this exactly the right level if, if it's not dead center right now you know center height wise that can be adjusted the belt just kinda sits here and um, I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Well, let me shut it off for a moment. I'll start the machine just to make sure everything is okay. I'm going to start the table. So a lot of times guys want to do something like this, this reciprocation in and out of the hole. And then, like I said, with this machine, you can turn it clockwise, but my wheel slide is going backwards because I'm in the um, internal mode here. All right. So now we turn counterclockwise, which is the way your, most machines want to turn to come in. This one's actually going back in the internal mode. When we flip this around to external, it's just the opposite. It takes a little getting used to, but there's a reason for that. So here's your ID spindle. Uh, you've got different quills that can be, could be set on here. And we're going to go ahead and turn this on. So then you would simply, uh, you know, do your grinding from here. And that's the ID grinding setup. So again, this is a really nice machine, very uh, clean. These are very high precision, high-end grinders, uh, favored by a lot of people, nice tool room grinder. Um, we have it here at Machinery Values. I'm Bob Houghton. Thank you very much.